What's up you guys, EJ, and I'm back again with another video. Sorry for the really weird sweater looking thing and my hair looking kind of like a mess. I tried to curl it the other day and let's just say it's not curled. Anyway, I wanted to give you something different this week and we're doing a what's in my bag video. It's open because I was too lazy to put everything I have back in my bag that was all over the floor. This version is what's in my school bag. This is my school bag that I use for school. It is a pink, has daisies all over it, and I have some buttons on here. Here are all my pins. I got mostly all of them from Hot Topic. So here is the front pocket. We're gonna open that up. Also, look at my little puff ball keychain. It's so soft. I love it. And also I have a hand sanitizer key thingy. I'm gonna show you everything that I fit in this pocket. It's a lot. First thing I'm pulling out is my lanyard along with my glasses for some reason. My lanyard says Nugs Not Drugs and I got it from this $5 and below store. It just has keychains and my ID and a lot of important stuff in there. And then I also have my sunglasses, which I don't really use that much, but I like them. They look like this. They have rainbow right there. And then I have my little Vaseline for my lips because they get dry all the time. And then I have this little first aid kit. It has like band-aids, alcohol pads, even menstrual stuff. Then I have my wallet, even though my wallet is huge, it fits in that front pocket. And it's just black, I got it at Target. It was hella expensive, but I needed a new wallet. I had grown out of my other one. So yeah. And then I have some random bookmark from my college library. I don't know why I have that. My headphones, that is essential. Gum, because sometimes I'm in a rush and I don't brush my teeth. I mean, it's happened once in everyone's life, okay? These are my saviors. I have a lollipop I got from work. It's blue raspberry. I have two pens, even though I have a pencil bag, which I will show you in a minute. Also, another thing that I have in the front pouch is a portable charger, because sometimes I don't got time to carry my outlet plug and all that, so I just, a portable charger is enough. And I don't even use it that much, only in like, if I don't charge it at night, and I charge it every night. So this is just in case. And that's everything. And a quarter, which I'm going to put in my wallet. Also, I have other stuff that I usually put in my bag, but it's sitting out in front of me because I'm just, I was too lazy to put all that back into my bag. But in the main part of my bag, I have my pencil case. Missing some pens. They're probably all inside of my bag. But I usually put all my pins on this because I bought so many one time for work and I don't know, I, I quit that job now, so I don't know where to put them. And I put them all on this pencil pouch. This is the pencil pouch. This has a bunch of pens and highlighters in there. Some of them I don't even use some of these pens, but I have them. I only really need one pen, but just have these just in case. Then I have this book. This is my textbook for school. I'm not gonna show you. If you already know what book it is, pray for me. Look, look at me. I'm such a good student. I marked all the pages that we read. Yeah. I have to read another one tonight. <sighs> I threw my bag on the floor because there's nothing else in it now. But next is my planner. It has my schedule on the front, but I'm not gonna show you. I drew all over it. It's a lot of moon and stars and planets because I love that. It's by Sugar Paper Los Angeles. I'll show you what my February schedule looks like. Don't got a lot going on in my life. This is just for school. And then there's this trend thing called bullet journaling. And I got a bullet journal. Let me tell you, this is expensive. So if you're going to do bullet journaling, you will have to invest a good amount of your life into it. I just started. I'm on this page, did some stuff there. This is by Moleskin. They have, they have really good ones. I got this one for $20 and it's this skinny. In my opinion, really expensive, but I'm a really cheap person. Then I have another textbook. It's 
not even a textbook. It's like a spiral book with a bunch of stuff about writing that I don't really read all that often. Next is a spiral journal. I really don't like spiral journals, but I mean, I don't know any other journal that I know that isn't spiral. I mean, there's obviously the composition books, but I don't like those either. But this one is glittery. It's silver. So I use this one for my English class. I write my notes on stuff I read in my textbook because I am a good student. Next, I have another glittery journal. It's white. I decided to keep it monochrome. This is for all my other subjects because I don't feel like having a journal for every single subject. And I have four classes, so this is just for the other three classes I have. And then I have a glittery folder. It's also white. I just put my syllabuses and everything else I need in there. Schoolwork, homework, all that jazz. So that was basically it for everything in my bag. Nothing too exciting because it is just for school. Don't really carry anything exciting. Please leave me video suggestions or ideas down there. If you even bother to. I'm not telling you what to do. If you guys enjoyed this video, catch you on the flip side. I'll see you guys. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. No. I'll not tutorial. This is not a tutorial. I got distracted because of the new Damn Daniel back at it again with the white bands. Everyone's gonna hate me now.